Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the next episode of Surviving Mars with me, Biffa. Here we are inside our dome. We have one hour left of the founder stage. Once we hit that, we know that we can keep people alive here on Mars and we can bring some more people. There we go, zero hours left. It's counting down the minutes. Uh, something I had to do, which uh, some of you may not uh, notice in it's your... It's a rough life here on well, Mars. I'll come back to that. You can't prepare for addiction. Yay, there we go. Oh, he's got an alcoholic trait. I thought that was going to tell me we passed our foundation stage. Um, he's got an alcoholic trait. Well, let's have a look at him. What's that going to do for him? Um, alcoholic. Work performance load by 10 can be caused this by will sanity go down breakdowns. In history. Here we go. The long-time dream of the human civilization as a whole to settle another world has come true. To be among the people who made this happen makes me feel enthusiastic and proud. So the colony has been evaluated positively. Additional colonists can be called from Earth. Excellent. Looks like we've got a serious adventure ahead of us. So let's just keep the game paused a second while I'm talking. So we'll come back to that. That is good. We can now have more people which we need. Um, but I noticed that this here was broken down and people or drones I should say weren't coming to repair it and I was trying to work out why and of course you have an area of effect uh, around your drone. There we go. And it's just literally on the border. So that didn't count. So it's going to be it's, it's not very clear because the way they do the border like this I would even think if something was on the line it would count. Um, but no. And what was happening as well is that rocket there was not being unloaded. So we do need another drone hub. We're going to bring one of those up hopefully. Um, but what you can do is you can assign drones. Uh, let's actually find a drone. There we go. Click that button there and reassign to somewhere different. So as you can see it says they're commanded by the drone hub. You click on that. Click on there. Uh, commanded by t Saucer 1. There we go. And we can change that back. Put that back on the drone hub. Excellent. So that's nice and easy. Um, so we should have this empty now. Is it not? Um, no. It's still got a load of stuff on there. So hopefully they're unloading that. Yes, they are. Um, I put, I think, four of my drones on there. I don't want to put any more because obviously the other drones are still doing the work that's going on. So we'll let them carry on with that. I'm going to put that as a priority. And we'll keep doing that. Um, it was also mentioned in the comments I read. Of course, we've got these dust producers here. I've got them turned off at the moment. But they do produce dust. Contaminate nearby buildings with dust. Which is what's happening on some of these. Which is a bit of a pain. Because it means that they're... Yeah, maybe not producing as much. They need repairing more often. So... I may destroy these and build them over here instead again, but we should see what we go. As it goes at the minute, I've got them turned off. We've got so much concrete that we're okay for that at the moment. What else have I done? Let's have a look. Oh, have we suddenly run out of power? No, there we go. The day is kicking in. We also have now the diner built over here, and we have a couple of people working there. We had the art workshop last time. Uh, we've got the new facilities to take... What can we take in here? 24 residents. So we basically need to just get that going. So while you're emptying that one, we are going to go for a resupply rocket. It's going to be a passenger rocket. And we're going to see what we can do to get some people on here. Um, now, knowing the fact that people won't switch domes to fulfill their needs, I would imagine that if we don't have things like schools and nursery in one dome, we don't want the people in that dome having kids. Because that could cause a problem. So let's see what we've got. Um, I've still got adults and middle-aged. I might take that off. Yes. And we still get 14 matching colonists. Let's just go for adults and see how we go for that. Uh, specialization. So we've got... Actually, let's go back and have a look. Uh, close that. Let's just pause a second and look at what jobs we need to be filled. So let's dive in here. Uh, we obviously need farmers. We need... What job would this be? Um, morale zero. Morale plus five. Procrastination at work. Botanist. Is there somewhere that tells you on here what, what speciality is good for these jobs? It tells you what services it's giving. Building performance, store polymer. It doesn't really, does it? Is this going to tell us down here? Art workshop. Okay, let's have a look. Hmm, cost, consumption, maintenance, service, comfort. No, so it gives us the outcome of what it does. 
I mean, obviously, we're going to need, like, medical doctors in here. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Best workers, medics. I've just seen it. So this one, it doesn't matter. That one, it doesn't matter. Okay, this one doesn't matter. These out here, this will probably say engineers or something. Best workers, engineers. Yep, and then this one over here, best workers, geologists. Okay, so we want geologists, we want engineers. Uh, we also want in here... Uh, we do have another uh, thing that we can put in. Let's have a look. Where is it? Machine parts factory and an electronics factory. Electronics, we're not really using. Machine parts, we're sort of flying through them. So if we can add that in and get that built, prioritize that. Uh, what people are we going to need in a machine parts factory? Doesn't say until it's built. I'll tell you what we'll do then. Is we'll do that. Will it say on here, H-I-J-K, Machine Parts Factory? Uh, base Production Maintenance Function? No, it doesn't say. Hmm. Okay, well, we might be able to find something that matches that. But, yeah, we definitely need farmers and geologists, engineers. I reckon that's going to be engineers. Geologists and engineers, maybe with a few farmers. Okay, let's see what we can do then. So passenger, age group, we're going to take out... Um, oh, we've just got adult in. Okay, it's remembered what we said. That's good. Um, engineer, yes, please. Botanists, I'm going to take that out and say no. So basically, we can get engineers... Oh, we don't want medics. And geologists. There we go. So we've got one there. So we've got nine that match at the moment. Ah, okay. And some no specialization. Scientists... Let's get some scientists in there as well. Matching nine. Seriously. Oh, yeah, look. There's only one geologist. Wow. Okay. And we'll get... Is there really so few? There is. Um, that, we've got everything ticked. Perks. Man, we're running out of running out of people, aren't we? Something we can do is buy some applicants. Uh, we do have 2,700 million... So, we can buy applicants. 50 applicants for 500 million. Yes. Just to add to our list again. So, that'll be good. So, let's look at our specialisation. Uh, engineer, we're going to get one. We're going to get four geologists. And the rest will possibly be scientists then, won't they? So, let's review who we're going to get. And we can say yes or no. Yeah, look, we're going to get a ton of scientists. We'll have a geologist and engineer. Uh, geologist, geologist officer geologist and officer so that's like seven. Oh man i mean we could take a few scientists but at the minute in the dome that we have there's no sciencing to be done security uh, interest exercise no shopping i mean we don't have a security place for them to work so that might be just what we need to do is just to take a few take the ones that we definitely want and let the rest just whatever they are scientist 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 geologist engineer yes please scientist geologist geologist officer geologist officer and then just pick oh, i think we can have a look at them can't we let's have a oh my goodness me didn't mean to do that okay we have our 12 chosen if you hover over their names you can see their traits so i've just picked people that don't have any bad traits and then of course our geologists and officers and all of those that is 12 we have available residences on mars 26 so that will help us with some jobs let's launch that they will be here when they're here and we want to get this thing emptied so we can send that one back and bring some more supplies. Because we are going to run out of machine parts very soon. So let's maybe speed this up a bit. Oh, and you're waiting to refuel as well. So I forgot about that. I mean, we can buy another rocket. We've got no rockets left. I don't know what that would cost. 500 million. We could do that. We'll see how we go before we do that. But I've got some of these going now, which is good. We've got extra, extra power. There we go. How much power are we making? Let's have a look. 24.3. Uh, what are these storing? These are storing quite a lot. So we should be okay. How's this going in here? Oh, this is being built up. Our machine parts factory. There we go. Right. I'm probably going to turn that off. Daily production. Stored machine parts. Could we take... 
Oh, insufficient metals. Yeah, I'm guessing they'll bring the metals in for that, like we've seen before. Could we? I mean, we've got so many people split around all over the place. And what you've got to be careful of, without shifts being covered... Uh, say, for instance, that person there got ill and went here to see a doctor and there wasn't somebody on that shift, it would lower their sanity. So that's basically where a lot of the problems are coming from. Um, if we come outside here and actually look at the overall... Yeah, see, morale's going down. They couldn't... Gaming. Ah, oh, okay. Gaming and shopping. Well... We can't have everything. Some people may end up being unhappy. Uh, we've got two people working in there. How many pollers do we have? 38. We're producing one a day, which is good. And daily production, 1.8 of this. Oh, this is what I want to get going, this metal thing. I really want that to be filled up. Okay, let's wait for this to empty and the next one to arrive. Not very long to go. Okay. Sector scanned. Oh, there we go. Vehicle battery low. Who's that that's low? Oh, how low are you? Oh, you're very low, aren't you? Where are you going? You're going all the way up to there. Um, Yeah, let's charge your battery first. I've just used him to charge somebody else, and I think that's... Uh, let's go over here. That'll be the nearest thing. There we go. On there. Excellent. Let's get you to do that. Our other guy has gone all the way over up to here to try and scan that. We're sort of spreading out quite a lot now, so... This, I mean, this is an interesting area over here. We've got our deep metals there. What have we got up here as well? We've got lots of concrete water. We've got some underground rare metals there. I mean, sorry, this is a deep underground metals thing. Yeah, okay, well, we need to discovered. get people to work on that. What breakthrough do we have? Dome stream lining. Domes use 50% less basic resources. What? Flipping it, we're going to go for that. Uh, what have we got going on here? Extract increased production by 25%. I'm going to take that one out. I'm going to put that one in. And then we're going to have... Oh, we can get more funding there, can't we? And then we'll see afterwards. But I definitely want that. We're about to get this one. Probes are cheaper and can deep scan. Which will be handy. Oh, but man, definitely. That will be good. Um, yeah, you're going to have to wait. Oh, people are here. Here we go. Let's uh, slow things down a bit. So I want that in this area here. So, this can reach it. Yeah, anywhere in there is fine. There we go. Excellent landing there. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. We do appreciate it. We really could do with making more fuel, couldn't we? Uh, power 5, water 1. I think we'd need more water if we did that. Yeah, we don't have a water surplus. We really could do with fueling these things up and sending them back quicker. We could do with another water... Uh, concrete extractor, metal. There is actually... Yeah, and then another fuel refinery. There is a water extractor, a moist evaporator. Which would be good. I think we need to go for a water extractor first. So let's go for that. Uh, that was entirely the wrong button. Don't know what happened there. Aha, here they are. Let's just watch these people arrive and then we'll put all of that in. They're here. Welcome to Mars. It's an amazing place. Woohoo! So you haven't got a job yet. What's that say? Set workplace for this colonist. So we need to have a look through our colonists where they're working as well. Because some of these guys... I don't know why he's unemployed. Some of these guys really need to have specific jobs as well. Engineers. So what have we got in here? Workplace wrong specialization. We're going to take you out. Wrong. Wrong wrong procrastination at work lazy but he is an engineer <laughs> okay uh what are you wrong wrong okay New colonists have arrived uh wrong are we where are all our engineers they've probably gone into these other buildings in here let's have a look through who's in what here so morale working hard excellent uh geologist 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 yeah very good I'm just wondering whether if we can just have a look at our colonists can we pick one colonist yeah there we go then we can sort of scroll through see where they're all working um, so at the moment you're not working anywhere you're a trained scientist so I'm thinking you're going to go and work you're going to love this you're going to work in the bar there we go is that what we do let's just make sure that that's worked no, okay. Set a workplace. Left click, select target mode. 
That's what I just did. So if we do that, and then see what happens. Surely this place is not full up. Oh, it is, look. Oh, I'll tell you what we need to do. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Is we need to do that and start this shift. So you're an officer, so you're okay working there. Do you know what I need to do? I can see this being a little bit finicky. I'm going to go through and make sure that everybody is in the right job. Okay, I've just been looking around at what's going on. We've got adaptive probes, that's good. We've got the breakthrough of domes cost 50% less basic resources. Ah, uh, hold on a minute. I thought that was... I've misread that one. Um, drone construction costs. No, no we're, active Yeah, research. we're not doing that one. We don't need drone construction costs straight away. So we've got this new building. The atomic accumulator stores electrical power, has huge capacity, but charges slowly. Um, which power is one of the things that we're sort of struggling with. We have the Sterling Generator. Well, we're bringing those from Earth at the moment, but we'll be able to build those, um, which will be also very helpful. And the subsurface heating increases local temperature in cold waves and protects nearby buildings. We haven't had any cold waves yet. <laughs> so that's the thing we want to be careful of. Uh, more applicants start to appear on Earth. That would be good because we really, really need more people. And a one-time grant of a thousand million. Um, I'm going to go for this one. We need more people because we're not getting all of our jobs done. I've gone through all the jobs and I'll show you that in a second what I've tried to do. We need another drone hub. Allows the clearing and salvaging. Fungal farm. Water reclamation. Water's okay. Let's go for this one. Um, yes, I've just read all the comments about how I clicked outsourcing so many times that I'd spent loads of money. That was my fault. Um, so we need to get things fueled and moving a lot quicker. Which might mean we need some more water. So we're going to go for another fuel refinery and sort of squeeze that in over here perhaps. Next to this one if we can. Let's line that up the same way. Unfortunately it won't. If we had it in there we could remove those pipes. Maybe not. Maybe just there then. And then we can get the pipe and get the electric... It's going to get covered in dust, but it doesn't really matter. Let's speed things up a bit. There we go. Yeah, we'll do that there. We'll get the pipes in. We'll get the electricity from here. That's fine. So we'll get our fuel going quicker. Um, what I'm doing with these, this one is filling up with fuel. That's our priority. It's got 23 or 40. And I've got these guys taking stuff off. That one isn't getting any. So I've gone through the jobs. That one's not getting any fuel, I mean. And try to sort of put people that are relevant to the jobs in the set places. It's flipping hard to sort people's jobs out. There needs to be, like, the ability to click here and get a list of everybody. See what their specialist is and assign them somewhere. Because at the minute, you have to click somewhere like this. You have to see a person. Wrong workplace. So you click on her and say, well, where should she work? Then click there. Then put her to work somewhere else. And then go back and find who's moved in. Do the same for them. It's it's a bit of a bind. So for at the minute, we haven't got engineers working in here. We've got... Um, these should all be engineers. Mainly, we've got engineers in here. Engineers, engineers, non-engineer. Uh, what are you? Yeah, you're an engineer, but you're lazy. So mainly engineers in there. Uh, I think these are all geologists, which is good. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, apart from that one. But we need more engine... Many things have been Ooh. said about the nature of commerce. Some deem it unnecessary, even malicious and immoral. Others defend the virtues of diligence and creativity it brings. Okay. Um, so, gold. Export 100 rare metals at Sol 100. Rare metals exported 6,000. So, we've actually done that already. <laughs> By the look of it. I think that's what that's telling us. Have we really done that many? Surely not. Rare metals exported 6,000. That can't be right. But anyway. Um, yeah, so we do... Did I accidentally remove some people from there? Or did I turn that on? I think I turned that on. So we need lots of engineers to work at the different places. Uh, you've got no power. Well, that's not very handy, is it? And this hasn't got anybody working here at the moment. Building's not working. Yes, that's fine. Uh, what is going on with our power? 
Minus 58. Yeah, we, we, we're getting a big drop in power at the moment. I mean, these are storing some, but not much. And these are going to take another five. I need to build some more of these, but away from this area, because these are getting so dusty. That's another concrete area. And what's interesting is, if we just slow down a moment, these, even when they're dusty... We have a power shortage. Yeah, I know. Even when they're dusty, they still produce the same amount of power. They just take more looking after. So, let's just think where we want these to go. And these, of course, are needing gears to be maintained, whatever they're called. Which we are making, so that's fine. Machine parts, just not very quickly and not many. <laughs> so that's why I prefer these because they're just looked after with metal and we do have a reasonable amount of metal we can bring more metal from the surface what's that polymers all very nice so more things have appeared which is interesting uh, let's just see what this guy's doing here empty battery well he was on his way back you're over there what are you doing you've picked up some polymers well I'll tell you what you're going to do Where's he gone, this guy? He's there. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're going to come and charge this guy up. There we go. No. That one there. Okay, good. You go and do that. Let's just check that's going to do it. Yep, he's heading over there. Excellent. Yeah, power. What can we turn off? Um... How are we doing for polymers? We've got 46 polymers. I'm actually going to turn that building off and those people can go and work somewhere else. One of them might even go into here. If we turn that on, get somebody working in there. The sun's going to come up. Let's see, where can we build some more of these? Does this produce dust? No, it doesn't. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Ooh. Select a sector to scan. Okay. We've scanned all of those. We may as well scan that and that that and that yeah see what we can find there and one more that one there okay so power i'm thinking of just extending this line across here and having a power grid up this way it's within the domes construction at uh, the drones construction area so that could be good uh, we've got the atomic accumulator if we research that but not yet there we go. Power's going to kick in again. Let's just run this along here. Like that. There we go. And then if we add some large solar panels along here, we'll be fine. That's far enough away from the dust that it shouldn't be an issue. So let's go... Oh. Press shift so you can place more than one at once. There we go. Excellent. How many metals have we got? 61 metals. So we should be okay. Let's speed things up a bit. Get that done. There we go. Our drones are going to run over there. Let's speed it up. Power is kicked in again. I mean, during the day, we're making... Oh, we've still got a power shortage during the day. But look at that one there. Pretty rough. Still got an hourly production of five. Even though it's going to need... Yeah, you see, it's just been fixed up. Yeah, it's just not the best place for those. I might start removing some of these if we work along this way and have a bit of a grid up here because we're only going to have water machines there and they don't produce. Oh, all structures contaminate nearby buildings with dust. Oh, darn it. Moonstone <laughs> achieved. Uh, let's cancel that one at the end there. Those two. Milestone, what's that? First Martian ball, no way! Seriously? How do we... How do we? Oh, they're ready to take off. How do we look at our Martian born? We'll come back to that. Uh, you've got 19 of those. Uh, so you can launch. Yep, ready for takeoff. All the food and everything else is off. Drones. There's three drones attached to you. Uh, you need to be... I'm going to attach them to you because I... I believe... Yeah, let's do that again. Drone attached to you. Then left click. Have you got stuff on there? No, you haven't. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. No, let's forget that. Let's attach you back to here again. Don't want our drones leaving. And you... 
Uh, commanded by T-Saw, so yeah, so attach you to you. And is there one more? Drones one. Where are you hiding, sneaky little drone? There he is. There he is. So we'll attach you to you. And that should be it. Drone zero. Drone zero. Off you go. Uh, yep. Yeah, launch. And launch. Do we have many rare metals just lying around? Two. Uh, they're probably going to stick them on. If we allow that. Auto save. And then we can send him. Yeah, it's got one. We have a power shortage. Oh, here we go again. Right, yeah, we're going to send you back. Because we need to sort this, like, super quick. Oh, my goodness, it's night time again. <laughs> I think we need some more wind turbines as well. Because they're just working, like, all the time, aren't they? Just to try and keep the power problem under control. Otherwise, people are going to die. And then we're going to go and find our Martian-born person. Uh, so let's attach that to there. Attach that to there and then go along there. There we go. Thank you. And then we'll build some wind turbines. What are they going to cost us? Four and one. Concrete's fine. Machine parts. Oh, man. And they take machine part maintenance. Yeah, I'm going to put them in anyway. We need it. So let's get that done. Let's get that done. Let's get that done. And let's have a look at our machine parts factory. If we open up some of these positions, we might get some more people moving in. Okay, good. So when our ships get back, I could really do with another Sterling generator. I'm going to make a note of these. Sterling gen. We really want another drone hub. Yep, another drone hub. Maybe some drones. We need people as well. Uh, fuel isn't hooked up yet. Let's hook this up here. Can I have that go through like that? Will that work? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. If I go... Ha, I don't think it will. Uh, we can just attach to there. Yeah, let's attach to there. And then power... Bum, 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 bum. Power cables move position now. It catches me out every time. There we go. We've got a power line right there. That's it. That's fine. So they can do that as well. Bish bash boss. We should be fine. And then I'm probably going to remove some of these once these are up. And we've got... There we go. Look, they're making them. And we've got more power going. Where's our Martian born? We've got to find... Let's slow things down a minute. Hang on a sec, everybody. Come here. Let's, let's click on you. Um... Age group adult, 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 adult. Child. No specialization. Resident apartments outside the workforce. Well, you're going to like playing. You visited the statue. Okay. As healthy as a ball at one with the universe. I think we need to change maybe. What does that give us? Relaxation, exercise and playing. That gives us... Re okay, so we've got things for playing. What would something for the kiddie winkies, a playground, would just give playing? Well, we're covering playing. Service comfort 80. Doesn't really say on that one. Okay, helpful. What is that? Stone garden. Service comfort 40. But it gives a mix. So we're probably going to stick with that. What we don't have is a nursery, which is living space for children. They seem to be in the apartment at the moment. Or a school. And at the minute, I don't know what's going to happen when that child grows up. <laughs> but that's our first Martian born. Let's find our first Martian born. Uh, adult, 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 adult. I didn't see them. Child. Uh, apparently you were in there. Doesn't seem to be many children in there unless you're hiding underneath. Mm, set residence. No, they're okay. Visiting diner. Is it one of these two here? Are we like growing full-size children. Is that what's going on here? Oh. Oh. There we go. Oh. 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 Where are you? Where? Are you this this one here? You're this guy here. No. You seem to be sort of underneath. I'm not entirely sure. Funding received. Yeah! 570 million! 
Uh, low power. Have you not come over here yet? Right, you are going to... You can't do anything. You are going to charge him. Yeah? I've told you that already. So share your power. Okay, yeah, that's good. How's your power doing? You're filling up. And then you're going to come back over here. Thank you. Sector scanned. And you're going to come back over here. Thank you. Right, okay. Any of the ships back home? They are. Let's load up our next ships. So anything else we need? What are we short on? Metal. And we're going to definitely need that. Um, machine parts, because we're just not making them quick enough. And that should be okay. And then people. We can fit in a whole load of people. And I think we can do it. So let's get our out and we want. Let's see what we can do here. So we wanted a sterling generator. What's that going to cost us? 400 million. Well, there we go. That's our bonus gone. Uh, a drone hub. Yeah. Uh, some drones, but we'll see about that. RC Rover, RC Transport. Drones we'll come back to. Uh, we need metals. Uh, we need machine parts. Are we like running out of space here? Funding, cargo capacity, 8,000. So we could fit some drones in. Hmm. How many drones could we get? Let's get another four and then another... Yeah. That'll be good. Uh, funding one... Th oh man, the money. The money! I don't think I want any more drones. Uh, let's maybe not use up all of our funding. I'm going to leave the Sterling Generator because... We've got more power. We've got ways of doing power. Cargo capacity. What else could we take? Orbital probe. 50 million. Underground deposits in the scanned areas. Not really at the moment. We can't. I think we'll just go with that. Yeah. We're going to launch with that one. And then this one we're going to get... Rockets unavailable. Is it not back yet? Oh, it's not back yet. Okay, 92%. Well... We'll see what happens when that one gets here. Hopefully, we can keep this balance going. We're making more fuel than we were before, which is good. We've got lots of fuel. Let us see what happens. What's wrong? <laughs> Meteor. Which, is that giving us any stuff? Received. Rare metal. Oh, excellent. 60, whatever it was. No, it's just a rock. Well, yeah, hit the big B with a T stain to subscribe. Be back tomorrow for the next Surviving Mars. We're doing okay. We're learning things as we go, most definitely. Let's see if we can keep these guys going and have more Martian born in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.